On this episode of Geek Dad Life, we're going to review the new Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Ram Man figure from Mattel. Hello everybody and welcome to Geek Dad Life. It's your host, Jay Gladfelter here. I have loved, purchased, and reviewed so much of the Masters of the Universe Origins line. If you want me to do more of these Motu Origins reviews, hit that like button. And if you want to know when those episodes drop, click the subscribe button and that bell icon. This Motu Origins Ram Man figure was first announced at last year's PowerCon, along with the three other deluxe figures, Battle Armor Skeletor, He-Man, and Clamp Champ. And while the Battle Armor He-Man and Battle Armor Skeletor started to show up at Target some other retailers earlier in the year, the Clamp Champ and Ram Man figures are starting to show up to retailers now. I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store, arriving safely at my doorstep. Ram Man is one of the most iconic of the original heroes from the Masters of the Universe line, being featured in that iconic Wave 2 of the series. And as such, his first media appearance was in the classic mini-comic He-Man meets Ram Man. His appearance on the Filmation cartoon is one of the rare examples of where his look on the show closely matches his action figure. And he also appeared in the 2000X cartoon. He is a classic character and excited to get him here as a deluxe figure in the Motu Origins line. Given that this is a deluxe figure, it is a little bit more expensive, coming about $19.99 retail, and the card back is bigger as well to account for all the extra accessories that come with this figure. The card back layout pulls a lot from the original deluxe figures from the Masters of the Universe Origins toy line, with about a 50% extension of the blasting rocks motif. And right next to that Masters of the Universe logo, we've got a nice illustration of Ram Man. We have new for 21 in the left-hand corner, the Lux figure set in the right-hand corner. And we do have the burst saying Modern Posing Retro Play, but on the other side, we also highlight that this figure comes with an action feature that his body is uh, gonna blast back. Turning the card around, we have more fantastic artwork from Axel and Francisco. This showing a pink armored faker on top of a Rotan uh, being attacked by Ram Man with Skeletor looking on. And also below that, we have some info boxes showing his spring-loaded launch attack feature, as well as you being able to twist him into powerful battle positions. We also have some cross-sell artwork for the other deluxe figures in this first wave with the Battle Armor He-Man, Clamp Champ, Ram Man, and Battle Battle Armor Skeletor, along with Panthor. Something to be aware of with these figures, the Ram Man is a rather heavy figure, heavier than most of the other Motu Origins, and as such, mine looks like it was separating from the card back, so just something to be on the lookout for if you're finding these in the wild and you want like a perfect mint example. The weight of the figure might make that difficult to find a really mint one in the wild. Taking the figure out of the box, it honestly feels great in hand. Has a nice weight to it, a lot nicer feeling than the original Ram Man figure. And uh, you know, it has actual articulation at the head joint, which is great, as well as articulating points on the arms with six articulating points total. Uh, uh, there is no twist at the waist, no ab crunch, uh, so that is to be expect expected since this includes an action feature. Uh, there are articulating points at the knees, and not it would seem like you could maybe swivel the legs or the feet, but you cannot. So really, you can uh, pivot it at the knee joint as well as bend it back and forth. One problem I do have though is without any ankle joints or anything, uh, while you can, you know, kind of bend the leg, it doesn't bend back enough to allow you to really stand it in a position to utilize any of that articulation. So while it's nice, we have a little bit more articulation here. We can do a little bit more movement than we could with the original figure. Uh, you know, the action feature here really doesn't allow uh, for any other posing with his legs than the static position that it's in. Maybe if we could have had some uh, articulating points at the ankles, it would have allowed us to do that. So that's a little bit of a bummer here. But overall, the added articulation to this, especially compared to the vintage one, is a nice add. I really dig the paint applications here. They are rather simple, but they work well. Uh, we have 
a black painted belt with a silver painted belt buckle, as well as kind of a, it may be casted in this color, but a really nice kind of shimmering silver color to his armor, which is also nice and flexible, so it allows some nice movement. We also have the silver paint on his helmet, as well as black paint on his eyebrows and eyes. And instead of a sticker for his cufflinks, those are painted as well. The rest of it is casted in the colors that we see, but really it looks nice and uh, does improve upon the original vintage counterpart. Moving on to the sculpt, it sits a little under five and a half inches. So unfortunately, this one models more after the vintage figure, which was kind of short and squatty, uh, as well as the Filmation's character that was small. You know, that amazing Masters of the Universe Classics figure was big, bulking. It's an amazing uh, figure that, you know, is one of the best of the line. I was, you know, hoping maybe this deluxe version of Ram Man would be big and bulky like that classics version. It is not. I mean, it is nice and, and, and thick and, and has a good presence to it, but it is shorter than the standard He-Man figures. And, uh, you know, especially when he's kind of put into his action mode, uh, he is significantly shorter. Uh, but other than that, I, you know, I think the sculpt looks really good. I think the head sculpt looks really nice. Everything, you know, looks as it should. And uh, overall is, you know, across the board improvements uh, comparing it to the vintage Ram Man. Speaking of that action feature, really the deluxe figures so far have had the most action features. And uh, this one is no different. I actually like the change of the spring-loaded feature. The vintage one had a little switch on the back of his foot. This one you simply push down, has a nice clicking noise, and then you push it again for it to jump up. The actual effect is kind of limited. It doesn't really bounce too much or, or, or jump forward too much, but still it's neat to get an action feature here uh, when the classics version did not give us that feature. The other thing about deluxe figures is we get a lot more accessories and this one is no different. We have his classic axe, which matches the vintage one pretty closely, but it is a lot bigger. And then we also have the sweet double-sided axe, which looks great as well. We also have two head sculpts go. We have his classic one where you see, you know, his uh, nose and mouth. And then we have an additional head sculpt that has his guard over his face. Uh, they both look good, but I prefer the more vintage looking one. One, because I think it looks better, uh, and, you know, maybe more nostalgic in that regard, but I also think it actually has more movement since the little, uh, you know, sides of the mask are a little bit more movable when there is no kind of a uh, little mouth guard covering it. So to me, there's a lot more movement in the vintage style head sculpt uh, than the one with the mask over his face. So that's why I'm gonna opt to stick to the vintage style head sculpt, but still it's neat that you have multiple options here to choose from for whatever look you think is best best. Something else of note here is this uh, comes with a little pamphlet showing that you can, uh, some of these pieces are interchangeable. I think it's one of the first times uh, that the Motu Origins line has highlighted the interchangeability of a lot of the parts on these figures. And uh, it is true, you can do that here with the Ram Man, his arms and uh, head come off and are usable on the other Motu Origins figures. Nothing else comes apart though. Uh, and something to know too, that if you're putting other uh, characters parts on Ram Man, his uh, head uh, ball joint is a little bit short. So, you know, the couple that I did try uh, wouldn't really stick on. There wasn't enough space or clearance uh, for the head sculpt to stay on. But the Ram Man on the other figures, uh, head fits just fine. Uh, his arms are a little bulky, so it's a little bit harder uh, for those to stick in as well. Uh, but still, I love the interchangeability of these uh, toys. I think it adds a lot of play value. I know my kids really get a kick out of that feature. So for me, this is my first deluxe figure, and I'm honestly pretty pleased. I think this is a really nice figure. It improves the original vintage one by leaps and bounds. I think the only things that kind of make it even slightly disappointing to me is how amazing that classics version of Ram Man was. It's still, I think, one of the best figures from that uh, classics line. Uh, but taking that out of the equation here, I think this is a fantastic update to a, you know, top tier heroic warrior from the original Motu line and uh, they did a really good job here with the figure you know for the extra five bucks I think you're getting uh, good value here with the extra accessories as well as the uh, action feature overall this one is definitely going to get the geek dad life by rating 
definitely check out some of my other Motu Origins videos, like my review of the just released Castle Grey Skull, which is still seemingly only in Canada. Hopefully, we'll start to see it hit stateside soon, as well as a playlist of all my other Motu Origins videos. So until next time, hasta luego, and goodbye.